Hello, uh, my name is Ian Solano. I'm a sophomore at California State University, Northridge, and I'm majoring in marketing. Today we have Cheryl. Um, do you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, my name is Cheryl. I'm a student at Miracosta College. And I don't really want to go on more. Okay, I'm going to let you take it back. Awesome, cool. Um, well, do you want to talk about, let's say, what your major is? Yeah, so I just got my associates in mathematics. And so now I'm doing business administration. Oh, cool, cool. So mm -hmm. how did you pick your current college? Or did you, you said you got your associate, so did you transfer? And how did that process go? Um, I have not transferred yet, but I picked this college purely based off of location. So I want it to be by the ocean and by the beach. And this oh, that's is awesome. Closest, yeah, <laughs> this is the closest college to it, so. Yeah, I also chose location, but instead of being next to the beach, I chose closer to home so I can save money and commute. That's just also a great option. Um, so is there a career center that helps you with like your resumes or career advice at your school? I know there, so there is a career center and I know they do um, like career advice, they do job search, assistance, things of that sort. I don't know the full extent. I don't like about my resume. I'm sure they do, but I don't really know how far they go into it. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't want to speak more than what I actually know. Yeah. Uh, so for, I guess I, I could talk about uh, my school. So my school helps out with like resumes. They give, um, they have strong connections with their alum. And so they help you get internships and jobs that way after you graduate. And so it's a really good resource. Um, I would look into it, see if you can like make those connections early on and just be like, oh, cool. So like if you ever need a job, you can just waltz in and just say, hey, can you help me out? Cool. Yeah. Um, so what resources helped you pick your major and in terms of a uh, career exploration? And if you, you're not that sure about your major, can you talk about like um, what you're passionate about or how it led you to decide what you want to go into? So that is actually part of the reason I started school late because I did not know what I wanted. I couldn't decide a, an occupation for the rest of my life at 18. Yeah. Right? So um, I didn't go to college for a while and I was like, okay, it's time to go back. And I love math. So that's how I chose mathematics. That was that. And um, I wanted to do something secondarily. And that was the, that was the hard thing. That was the thing where it's like, what, what else do I want to do? And yeah. so um, business administration, I know it's a really general thing. Mm -hmm. And one day I do hope to narrow it down into some specific role or job or whatever it may be. Um, but I feel like that'll just come when it comes. It comes. I go, there will be a fork in the road and I will have to decide on where you want to go. Exactly. So <laughs> So for me, um, my major is in marketing, right? And so like when you said math um, and how business administration is so broad, I think the same thing happens for marketing. You know, mar marketing, you can go into like product marketing, you can go into advertising, you can go into brand strategy. When deciding you want to go into mathematics and how much you love it, do you know specifically like, oh, I want to go into like applied math, theoretical, I want to be a professor or an engineer. Have you given some thought on what you want to do with math? I have. Um, I actually originally wanted to be an actuary, and I don't know. I, if you know. I don't know what that is. Okay, most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, an actuary is basically uh, they do risk management for insurance companies. So you have like your pension. You know, people are hitting old age, your car insurance, because they're calculating the risk, right? So if you say uh, black women between the ages of 20 and 30 in Southern California mm -hmm. get in accidents more than other people. Well, my insurance is going to be a little higher than yours and they yeah. need somebody to calculate that. Um, so it's, it actually sounds like a pretty boring job. I can see that from somebody <laughs> else's eyes. I can see how they would think that's pretty boring, but mm -hmm. I think it's cool. And you would, you would have to pass some exams and yeah. And, uh, I did such a, so going from mathematics, to that specific little niche like how did you like did you look at a website and said oh i want to do that or was it just like you have a friend that does that or how do you get no, into that i searched so before i even started school mm -hmm. i was looking for the end result like what yeah. do i want and um 
I, I knew engineering wasn't it. <laughs> I don't like science, so mm-hmm. I didn't want to do anything science related necessarily. Mm-hmm, uh, if I could avoid it, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so I was looking at a lot of jobs and, and um, I, that's how I learned what an actuary is. And it's one of the highest paying and low stress jobs. That's awesome. Once you get it. the competition to get there is hard, but mm-hmm. I, I like things like, I feel like I shouldn't have to, you yeah. know, work way too hard all my life. Like I should work really hard and there should be a point where I'm getting older and, mm-hmm. you know, I want to have kids and a family, so I shouldn't have to be going so hard at work, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I think, I think that's a really good point. Um, I see a lot of like my friends in college, they come in, but they don't really know what the end result is. And I, I, I think it's perfectly fine if you don't know what it's your major good. is, you don't know what you want to do in the future, but just, you know, like doing the research and looking into, okay, well, I like, let's say I like playing with dogs, you know, maybe I could be somewhere like a vet or a zoologist or something like that, you know? And so I think that's really cool that you looked at like the pay and this, did you look at the stress? stress levels because you mentioned that like is there i actually read this whole article on it and so it, it was a whole article <laughs> of like top five lowest stress but also high paying jobs in america yeah it happened to be on there too and i was like it's calling me <laughs> <laughs> the more articles i'm reading the more i'm seeing this job that i never knew of before like mm-hmm. this is meant to be <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool yeah cool. so uh you know, I'm, I'm actually wondering if there's a, an association for that. So do you know what an association is or do you belong to any? I don't. You don't. Okay, so um, an association is kind of like a guild or a group that helps you with resources to go into the right career field. And so for me personally, I'm part of the American Marketing Association. And it's a chapter in my school, but it's also a national like, group in the United States. And so what they do is they host events in like um, your local city and they do like speaking events. They teach you about like SEO or um, things that are specific to your industry. And so like joining an association is a huge help when it comes to like finding a job specifically in those niches. Cause it's not just like the broad topics like business associations or like marketing. Um, there's also ones for like dentistry or like construction. So it's very, it goes very specific and it allows you to network with people in your field or the field that you want to go into and also gives you the resources and like it's like the career center kind of but like for the real world I would say so they provide you all of those like um, opportunities Mm -hmm. cool so I would ask next is what is the plan what's your um, do you have any internships lined up for this summer do you are you studying anymore or what's up Okay, so I have never done an internship, but I've always wanted to. (laughs) Um, And the problem with being an actuary is this is where the roadblock came in in my life is that there are not very many opportunities to be an actuary here Mm -hmm. in San Diego. So the internships, zero here. There was one in LA, but do I want to drive that far every day realistically, you know? Um, it's very heavily East Coast. And so that, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. back to the plan. So no internships lined up, no externships. I am planning to start a business over the summer. Oh. Because I'm getting older every day and I'd like to make more money and gain experience in different things. I see, I can't <laughs> seem to get my career in a straight line. And I, by that, I mean, my first job was a diesel mechanic. I had a couple admin jobs. I, mm. I did, I had a marketing job and <laughs> I've done sales. I've done so many things. And when you look at the big picture, it doesn't really line up. It's like, what are you doing? What are you striving for? And I, mm. I need to get that bottlenecked <laughs> sooner than later. So I think, I mean, I think working at all of those jobs will, like, really benefit you in the future. I mean, yeah. for, for me, I, um, I used to work at this cafe mm. over the summer, and I was thinking, like, this is not marketing at all. Like, because I've always wanted to go into marketing ever since I was in middle school. Right. And so I've, like, all the internships that I had are very focused into, like, marketing or a specific type of marketing. So mm. it'll help me, like, funnel down on what I really want to do. And right now I want to do advertising. 
But anyways, there's a little like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I wanted to go into marketing, but I was at a cafe job and I didn't know how that would help me. But when I went into my next or my first internship, it really showed how like you could apply all the things that I learned, like in terms of like leadership, time management, mm -hmm. and like working with people, especially, oh my gosh, whew. Okay, like working with people, like, it'll like really help you out in your real world. So I think um, for you, the way that the way that it'll benefit you, I think, would be like angling it in a specific way, you know. True. So like I don't know, um, what was that thing called? What was it called again? Your uh, what you wanted to do art actuary. Actuary. So like if you want to go into actuary, and let's say you had a marketing job, then you can like during your interview, you can talk about your experience and how that'll help you understand like the company more or work with people more so i think that's really cool so i think i think you're not like because i thought you're like oh you didn't have any internships you've had a lot of work so it's like you're yeah. on top you're doing really well <laughs> yeah so i was like <laughs> that's pretty cool um so well cheryl i wish you a good luck and i hope you do succeed and you do really well in your future thank you so much ian and i wish the best for you as well